Planning great podcasts. Before you start to record your first podcast, you need a plan for it. Podcasts recorded on the fly rarely turn out that well. You need to prepare for each podcast to ensure that things go as smoothly as possible. You don't need to spend hours on a podcast plan. Investing a small amount of time into a plan will make a huge difference to the quality of each of your podcasts. So let's get started, shall we? Organize your podcasts. You're not going to record just one podcast, so it is a good idea to get organized so that you can plan and record your podcasts on a regular basis. There are no strict rules for how many podcasts you should create a month, but always remember that it is not a good idea to keep your listeners waiting too long or they will find another person's podcast to listen to. We recommend that you have a content calendar for your podcasting activities. You have the option of good old-fashioned pen and paper here, or you can use technology. If you prefer technology, then we recommend that you use Google Calendar. There are paid options available, but the free Google Calendar will do everything that you need. With Google Calendar, you can add a description to the entries that you make. So, you can add the topic of each podcast for the next few weeks, for example. You can even attach files to your calendar event if you want to. Just do whatever you need to do to be organized with your podcast planning and recording. What will you talk about? You need to spend the most time planning what you are going to talk about on your podcast. If you get this wrong, then it doesn't matter how much fancy equipment you have, your podcast will be a disaster. Always bear in mind that your podcasts are for your listeners, so you need to provide recordings that your target audience will really care about. Do your homework here and find out what your audience wants. You can ask yourself the following questions to help you here. What questions do your listeners have? What problems do your listeners have? What things are your listeners struggling with right now? Use an answer to one of these questions in your podcasts. One way that you can easily find out what your audience is looking for is to do some keyword research. Using the free Google Keyword Planner, you can discover the search terms that people in your niche are using to find answers to their questions and problems. Keyword research is a really good idea because you can create a list of relevant keywords for your niche that you not only use for podcast episodes, but also for optimizing your listings when you distribute your recordings. We will talk about this more later in this training. Another way that you can come up with content for your podcast is by brainstorming. If you're going to record a podcast with other people, then ask them for their ideas as well. You'll get a better result if you use their ideas as well as yours. Use a mind map if you're going to record solo. This will help you to think through all the ideas with your initial podcast and can even help you with coming up with themes for future podcasts. Create a script for your podcast. Some of you might not like the idea of creating a script for your podcast, but it really will help you. If you're an expert in your niche, then you may not need a full script to follow. Just write down the important points that you want to cover and then use these as prompts. You will need to be pretty confident to record a good podcast using prompts. When you write a detailed script, it provides you with a really tight way to create a podcast that is packed with value. Reading a full script will prevent you from rambling on and will also ensure that you cover everything in your podcast. There are a couple of problems with a detailed script, though. First is the amount of time and effort that it will take you to write it. Second is that a detailed script can stop you from being spontaneous and prevent you from adding your personality into the recording. We recommend that you create a couple of test podcasts by using a prompt script and a detailed script and see which one suits you the best. Listen critically to the two test recordings and check for coverage of points and ramblings. In the end, practice is the best solution. After a while, you will find the best form of script for you to create the best podcasts. It is better that you have some form of script than no script. Even if you have a great memory, the pressure of making the podcast recording can lead you to forget certain points that you really wanted to cover. Start off by using a detailed script and then see if you can get by with a prompt script as you gain more podcasting experience. Recording online interviews. Your listeners will usually look forward to interviews that you have agreed with your experts in your niche. If your expert lives far away, then the best solution is to record your conversation using an online app. There are a few good apps out there that you can use for this. Skype. Skype is an extremely popular online call app that has improved significantly over the years. A lot of people have Skype accounts, so check with your interviewee ahead of time so that they can quickly set up a Skype account for free if they don't have one. There are a number of apps available for recording Skype calls and creating MP3 files from these. There's actually a feature now in Skype to record calls. Once you have started your call, you can start recording and both parties are notified that recording has begun. You can stop the recording at any time or it will automatically stop at the end of the call. When the recording is finished, Skype creates an MP4 file and adds it to the chat window where you can download it. You will then have to convert this into an MP3 file for audio editing. 
At the time of creating this training, all recordings are in mono format only. This is not great for balancing recording levels in your audio editor. The next level up for Skype call recording is either Talk Helper for Windows computers or Call Recorder for Mac computers. You will have to pay a small premium for these apps, but it is worth it. They will record both parties in separate channels so that you can volume balance. You also get the recording as an audio file. Zoom. Zoom is more sophisticated than Skype as it is more like a video conferencing tool. All you need to do is use Zoom to set up a room and send the generated link to the other person so that they can sign into the call. All calls using Zoom are automatically recorded and you will receive an audio file when the call is ended. You can set up the recording so that it will record the two parties on different channels, which is great for editing. If you are only recording with one other person, then a Zoom call is free. Whenever you are going to record an interview using a call over Skype, Zoom, or any other method, you should plan the questions that you are going to ask and agree with this with the interviewee prior to recording the interview.